Hi everyone and welcome to this edition of Campus Convos for June 2023. I am joined today, uh, we're here in the nursing program for uh, DACC and I'm joined today by uh, Josie Carmona who is our division dean and Cynthia Olivas, almost said Olivas, <laughs> adding an H, Olivas who is our program director. So ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us today. You know, so one of the cool things that, that a lot of people may not know is that Next month, which is July 2023, we're going to be going to celebrate our 50th anniversary of DACC. And one of the cool aspects of that is, you know, there were a few programs at the very beginning, but nursing was one of them. So tell me a little bit about the nursing program here and, you know, maybe even some history that you might know off the top of your head of uh, the nursing program here at DACC. So hi, Denise, thank you. Um, the you're right, the DACC uh, nursing program has been uh, with the college since the start of the, you know, the college. And in that time, it has grown substantially. We started off, well, the program started off with, I believe, eight students, and now we have over 100 students. And then uh, in the fall, we're gonna even add more students. As you know, the Sunland Park expansion is happening, and we'll start a cohort over there. Um, it did start off with a licensed program um, nursing certificate, which is an LPN certificate. And then after that, the program added the associate's degree. Currently, the program is a career ladder program and a student who enters our program um, as a traditional student, in other words, um, they start from level one, they can come out with both an LPN certificate and an associate's degree in nursing. Oh, wow. So, you know, nursing has always been such an important um, career, especially here in New Mexico, where we tend to have a little bit of a nursing shortage. So tell me about the impact that DACC makes in that nursing shortage. What, what kind of an impact do we make and how do we help the state with that? So the nursing program um, helps in multiple ways. Number one, locally, it helps the community. Um, as our graduates are out there in the workforce, they're working the hospitals, the clinics, um, and what that means actually is that patients are being seen. Uh, patients are not um, falling through, you know, uh, the gaps. They're not, you know, wondering where they're at a nurse is actually taking care of them and monitoring their health and mm -hmm. the main purpose of nursing is to make sure that patients stay healthy and if they do become sick that there is a nurse there to take care of them so that's how our program helps locally and then as far as the state and nationally as you know that there is a nursing shortage and unfortunately, that's not going away anytime soon. So our nurses out there in the workforce are helping alleviate a little bit, you know, a little bit at a time, uh, reduce that shortage um, by banning the hospitals, clinics, and so forth. So you mentioned the Sunland Park expansion. Um, tell me a little bit about that and why is that important to reach out into the South County? Um, I'm glad you asked. So, like, in addition to the conversation about how this program is supporting um, the shortage, we also recognize that Doniana County expands beyond Las Cruces. And so, um, one of the first things we did was look at the county and say, okay, where can we make a difference? And so, we also had to look at logistically what makes sense. And so, we started to open up um, clinical rotation sites in El Paso. So, we received approval a couple of years ago to do that. And Sunland Park was a prime location because we know that students who graduate from Gadsden High School and from um, Santa Teresa High School, like that's a pretty long trek to come out this way. So yeah. fortunately, the state has provided quite a bit of funding to us recently. So we were awarded um, expansion monies from the state of New Mexico to expand. And that helps us hire qualified faculty, but to also support students in providing them with a stipend to help offset the costs. Um, of nursing school because it's not an easy degree to pursue um, and so we're now able to offer instruction at the Sunland Park Center 
and students can go there, do their lab um, experiences, also attend classes there. And we've just hired two faculty. We're so excited about that and we'll launch our first cohort. So by the time we come back here in about a year, we will have added um, 16, I'm not gonna do math in public, um, but over <laughs> 20 students um, to our nursing program, so. Just by expanding out. Just by expanding to Sunland Park. You know, and it adds such an impact also as well where you have people that are there that might be hesitant to seek out health services, but because they have a family member out there in the South County or a friend that works there, they might go out to get seen by a physician or a doctor now knowing that there's somebody there. Absolutely. I think that some of the work that we'll be doing is really connecting um, so, uh, Dr. Olivas and um, our Sunland Park coordinator, Ashley Rodriguez, will be doing a lot of um, outreach and just reminding folks that we're down there, um, but also recognizing that, um, like you said, we don't just help prepare students to go in, but we also help prepare families. So yeah. we're hoping that they can also see that we have other programs, um, the possibilities we know that Sunland Park is growing economically, that is a big um, growth hotspot. And so we are happy to be up on the front end of that growth. That's amazing. So if there's a student out there watching right now and thinking, hey, I might wanna become a nurse or I might be interested in the program, um, how could they get some more information and just come here to DACC and yeah. study? So we do have a website, uh, it's DACC Nurse Thrive. And on the website, it has the contact information for our two nursing advisors, Nicole and Kelly. Um, it has their email and, of course, their phone number, and they can make an appointment uh, to discuss the application process. Uh, um, it is still an application process to get in, uh, but they would have uh, all the information as to what's needed as far as prerequisites, uh, GPA requirements, those types of things. And one thing that's amazing about DACC is it's always supportive of students that need help um, financially and helping them cross over some barriers they might um, come across. And so scholarships are available, you know, if, if you meet the requirements to become a nurse, but maybe the money isn't there, you know, we, we always help with financial aid and giving them access to all those scholarships too. That's yes, true. Exactly. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show and we really appreciate you and uh, discussing more stuff that DACC does and celebrating our 50th anniversary, especially with the inception of our nursing program, which was one of the starting uh, programs that we offered here. So thank you again very much. Thank, thank you, you Denise. so much, Denise. Thank you, and we will see you again next month.